everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies today yeah. joining us for baby talk tuesday is my beautiful heavenly and when i do these videos these are on my babies this one is not for sale but i do have this version for sale with blue eyes and it's a bald baby i'll stick it up on the screen i know you guys really like this baby so that's why i got that one painted it the painting is totally different each baby's done differently and that one's for sale with a great big box opening with it lots of stuff with it and even surprises i'll be sending but this is my baby and we're going to do a change on her she's joining the onesie club so we're going to do a change on her and then um, you know just do some chatting first we're going to do the powerful prayers for every need all right today we are on self-discipline no discipline seems enjoyable at the time but painful later on However, it yields the fruit of peace and righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Hebrews 12, 11. Dear God, your grace teaches us to say no to ungodly, ungodly, <laughs> ungodliness, boy, that was a tongue tire, and worldly passion, and to live self-controlled lives. I need that because I'm not so good at saying no on my own. I need your grace to help me discipline myself as I set out to live a life pleasing to you. Thank you for your grace. Amen. Titans 2.12. You know, that's great. I mean, it is hard. We live a hard life, and it's hard to have that self-control. We all sin. I know people think that they sin just too much, and they don't think that God will forgive them. He will. He'll forgive you daily. Ask for, you know, forgiveness daily because we are people of sin. We all live in glass houses, and we commit sins every single day of our life. So it's just important, you guys, to know that God is a merciful God and he will forgive you. Yeah, we don't want to continue to commit the same sin over and over, but we can be forgiven. And we do have to ask for that, you know, um, for God to come in and help us so that we can be pleasing to God. And the more you read, the more you uh, spend time with God, talk to God, uh, listening to Christian music, you know, uh, watching good Christian movies, all of that, that's what's going to help you. And we all make those mistakes, you know, we all fall short of the glory of God. But just know that we serve a merciful God and why he sent his son to die for our sins so that we could be forgiven and know that we have eternal life in heaven. Father God, our son is a good boy, but he has a difficult time controlling his impulses. He te his teacher has made some practical suggestions, including counseling. We will certainly follow through, but I know that the great greatest help must come from you. Your word says that you did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and self-discipline. By your spirit in interacting with his spirit, Lord, help our boy find his way. Amen. First Timothy 1 Timothy 1.7. This is a great one to know, you guys. You know, a lot of people get counseling, and, you know, God gives us doctors and counselors and psychiatrists and, you know, help, you know, different centers to go to, all of that. But know that the greatest help you will ever get is from God. Listen to some of those apps that I listen to, and you will hear that even people that are addicts, if they turn their life over to God, they've done it without even going into a treatment center. God can definitely take control of your life if you let him, and he can change it. So not only, you know, if you, know, you need counseling, you need it, all of that, that's great. That's what they're there for. But know, also turn your life to God. Give your whole self to God and be doing things for God, reading his word and all of that, like I say, and praying. You can't pray enough. Just when you think you prayed you know, enough, pray more. And believe me, God is going to step in and he's going to take over and he's going to help you if you let him and have that big faith, faith in him. He will get you through the tough times. But yeah, it can be very difficult in a world we live in. You know, this isn't our permanent home. That's in heaven when everything's perfect. Here it's hard and tough, but it's important that we give ourselves to God. Father, teach me to discipline myself, to see what I need to do and actually do it. Teach me to work hard even when no one is watching. I want to do your word. I want to do your word, says, and run this race in such a way to get the prize. Thank you for helping me achieve the goals you set in my heart. Amen. 1 Corinthians 9.24 Again, asking God to teach us to have that self-discipline. You know, ask God, help, dis help to discipline myself to see what I do and actually do it. You know, it's one thing to say you're going to do it. You can, anybody can, you know, talk the talk, but we need to walk the walk. You know, let's do it. Let's just walk the walk. Let's try our best to live the best that we can for God. And we can continue to ask him for that help. Every time we feel like we're going to fall and that's of the devil, 
because he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, yelling in your ear, where God whispers. He doesn't control you. He lets you make your own choices in life. But boy, he sure wants you in heaven. So don't listen to that loud voice of the devil. Try, try, try your hardest to live the best you can. But know that if you make a mistake, we can ask for forgiveness. God can forgive any sin. Nothing too big for him to forgive. So let's just continue to discipline ourselves by asking God to teach us how to discipline ourselves. Oh Lord, help me choose each day to do the right thing. That's a discipline that will keep me at the center of your will. Amen. Amen, you guys. That is great. And I also liked in that last one I read where it says, I want to do your, your word and run this race in such a way to get the prize. Thank you for helping me achieve the goals. You know, we can break those chains. And it says, teach me to work hard even when no one is watching. So we don't want to just be a Christian like when I'm on here. I don't want you guys to think I'm just this Christian, this big Christian, you know, salvation, all that. I'm here. I make mistakes too, you guys. I do. And I've got to, you know, ask God every day for help. But I want people to see that through me. You definitely want people to see your walk through, you know, through him. And they'll they'll see that. They'll think, well, gosh, she talks differently on here and she's so different in person. You don't want to be like that, you guys. You want to be that Christian all the time, which is going to help others to come to God. So try to be the best you can. But again, we're sinners saved by grace because we make those sins. But thank God we serve an all mercy, you know, all mercy, mighty, all merciful, mighty God that will forgive us. And if we're reading this word, starting our day, going through our day and ending our day with life's manual, even if it's just a verse a day, you guys, you don't even have to read a ton. Read a verse that you love. Look up Google, something that you're looking for. If it's addiction, if it's uh, helping with discipline, like we were reading, if it's just helping you with anxiety, Google it and pick a verse and just read that one verse and pray and watch things in your life. It'll become a habit and you'll start reading more and you'll start getting closer to God and you'll start walking a better life. That's what this is for. This is a tool. This can't get you into heaven, but doing what's in the Bible is what gets you into heaven. And reading all of Romans is how you get into heaven, how you get your salvation. So be reading just every day. Read a verse a day. Read a Proverbs a day. That's the wisdom chapter, and it matches because there's 31. So if there's 31 days, you got enough. If there's 30 days, you stop, you start over at one again for the day of the week. If there's only 28, 29 in February like that, read those and start over again. It gives you great wisdom and it gets you a habit of reading, you guys, because that is a wisdom chapter, Proverbs. So definitely be reading as much as you can. And I'm saying that for myself because I've been slacking on my reading. I read to you guys here, but then I want my alone personal time with God, you know, and I got to do that. I got to get more. But I do feel the more I give to him that he's definitely helping. Like I said, I can feel when I do give him more and there are days that I do. Those days are so much better. So I hope you guys like that on self-discipline and make sure that you just be, you know, asking God for that true help and he will help you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed those verses. And now we're going to get on to Heavenly. Like I said, this is my baby, not for sale. When I do these videos, yeah. these are just on my babies, okay? I like to do videos on the babies. And then if I have a baby for sale, I will put that in the description of the video. It's going to say baby for sale. And it was just such a coincidence that I have this particular baby up for sale, just painted differently. She's got a cute little scratch on the face. I did that on purpose. She is a bald baby with blue eyes. And like I said, comes with a huge box opening, all new stuff, just beautiful. I'm gonna do another video on her again, just for you guys to see, and I'm only asking $299 for everything, plus uh, large flat rate shipping, which is $22 uh, to flat rate in the, uh, you know, basically all of the United States, and then there are some countries I can send to. One is Africa that I cannot though. Africa, and there's a few other that I cannot send to. But um, yeah. So if you guys want that baby, interested in it, jump on it. She's a beautiful baby, and I'm going to do a video on her this week to show you. And then I got that other one for only 75 bucks. I did a huge blowout sell on that one, letting that little preemie boy go. He wears preemie clothes. He's gorgeous, you guys. Jump on that. 75 bucks. You can't beat that. I'm just let, basically giving him away. And he's got a nice box opening as well with all new stuff. Uh. All right. So let's get on to Heavenly, show you her onesie. I got these in that uh, haul that I did for that new baby I got coming tomorrow. You guys, I am super excited. Well, no, it's Tuesday today. That's right. I, I do these videos pre-record. So tomorrow when you see this, it's supposed to come that day. I will do the opening. It's not, it said it could come up to 7 p.m. at night. So if I don't get it till the evening, I will do the video, and then you'll get it on Wednesday or Thursday. And that's the one from End Love with Reborns. It's my one and only vinyl I will have, but I am so excited. And I got her some pieces. This was one of them, but I want to put this on Heavenly because my baby's share. 
Uh, this says, hello world. It's all white and the writing is pink. I got it from um, TJ Maxx, I believe. Was that TJ Maxx? Yeah, TJ Maxx. And this one just says uh, nine hop. My, is it mini hop or mini hop? Yeah. And it's a newborn size. So she wears newborn. That's what that baby is that you're getting. Where's newborn? It's eight, eight pounds and 19 inches long, this baby. I'm going to put this with it. It's got the gray and the pink, which is going to go great. A bow on her. She's got hair. I rooted her. Very baby fine black hair and brown eyes to be like daddy Italian. So we're going to do this. And then we've got this one. So I might choose to do this bow. I don't know which one I'm going to do. We'll choose. This is a velvety one. And then we've got the pink nook for it, which matches really good with the pink writing. So we're going to do that on her. And we're going to comb her hair. I got the brush and stuff. Let's get her little bracelets off. She's got the stars because it heavenly makes me think of, you know, up in heaven, the stars, the moon, you know, stuff like that. So I thought she could have the star one with all the colors. It's a snake bracelet that goes on. I got these from TJ Maxx. You get a pack of six. And then I made her a little bracelet with the H on it for heavenly. And here's hers all white and gold with a little bit of pink because of her name, heavenly. I like it with the golds and the white, just pure like that. And it's got the H. So that's hers. All right, and she's pretty happy. We'll take her little nook out so you guys can see her. She really likes to look at that ring light, and we had her in this cute, adorable sleeper. All these babies were in sleepers, and now we're doing onesies, and let me tell you how cute it is to see all my babies uh, in little onesies and their bare feet. I just love it seeing all these baby feet. When I'm all done, and every baby has been changed, because I still have like 12 or 13 left to go. When I'm all done and they're all changed, I will actually show you guys my nursery with all of them uh, with their bare feet, you know, laying in their little um, bassinets, the car seats, the little seats that they sit in the crib, all of that. I'll just show you how cute each and every baby looks. They're just so adorable, you guys, looking at all the babies in just onesies. It is so precious, you guys. It really is. You're slipping, little girl. So we'll get her up. But when they're barefoot, you can't beat a onesie baby, especially a white onesie. You can't beat that. And I would have done that, but I wanted to do the colored onesies for them. So we'll go ahead and get the onesie on her. Now she was done with silicone velvet, so she's very soft and nice and does not have to be powdered. I have not had to powder her and I done her, gosh, quite a while ago now. It was, um, when did I do her? I wanna say beginning of the year, I believe. And look at her hair is still so pretty. It stayed really pretty. Um, Beginning of the year, I believe, I painted her and I've given her baths. Um, of course, after she was done, I gave her a bath and then I've given her baths. I change her all the time. You guys have seen many videos on her and I have not had to powder her. And that's what I use is silicone velvet to seal the babies with the MF110. It's wet and you do it while it's wet and you powder on the silicone velvet and it just is amazing. And the baby you're getting is going to be the same. In fact, it's even softer than this one because it's a little bit floppier than this baby, a little bit floppier and uh, just really squishy. I don't know. I don't know why that one is softer than hers, but she's like silk. That's what the name is. Silicone velvet. They're velvety, you guys. Velvety soft. You don't even need to powder them. They don't have any shiny spots. She doesn't have any shiny spots on yeah. her. The one I'm selling, um, this one either, but the one I'm selling, she's just gorgeous, you guys, and such a wonderful price. So yeah. Now let's see which one looks better. Which one do I want on her? Let me see. I'm going to comb her hair, but it just doesn't need to be combed too much. Let's see. Do I want this one? That's cute. Or do I want this one? Because I don't do enough of the little bows, you know, so you can see her hair. Yeah, let's do this one. So we're just going to give her just a little comb. She doesn't need too much. She's got very baby fine, beautiful black hair. It's mole hair. And I rooted her. And I, you know, did it very baby fine. I did more baby fine on her than I did on Penelope. When you see Penelope the other day, I gave Penelope a little bit more hair to the center and then gave her that bed head look. This one I rooted all throughout the whole head, um, just very baby fine. So this one doesn't have the bed head look, but has the, um, you know, very baby fine hair. If you see all the way around, it's very baby fine. And I love that. It's really, really, really precious. And I can make it curly too. I can give it curls because this hair is a little bit of a slight wave. But look at how precious that is on top. Hopefully you guys can see that good. I'm gonna pull my glasses down here. Um, but yeah, it's just really pretty all around. And I can part it any way I want. I just did a little part like that. That's how I like her hair. But I can also just mess with it and make it curly. I just really like it, you know, like this, but all different ways she looks really cute. So, and the way we're gonna have the bow in, I just wonder, should we? 
make it a little bit curly on her. Actually, I want to pull down a little bit of bangs on her yeah. since we're doing that thinner bow. So I can give her some bangs. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, that's so cute, honey bunny. Yeah, we'll keep that hair back. But we'll give you some bangs like that. And like I said, you can just mess with it as well. You could just give it some curls. Like I said, I could go like this and make her hair curly. You know, you just play with it and it's very cute both ways. But we'll leave it down and just have the bangs forward. And I did the little swirl in the back on hers. Now, I haven't started rooting uh, the babies that I'm selling. I'm not rooting those because I would have to charge so much more and I'm trying to do budget babies for you guys. So, you know, if you really like it rooted, then maybe you could ask somebody to root it after you get it. But babies look very cute bald too. They are very, very precious bald. And I'm trying to save money for guys, for you guys because I would definitely have to tack on a couple hundred or more for the rooting because that takes weeks to do, weeks. Even this little bit of hair I did on her took me, gosh, almost two weeks to do. So yeah, it's not, it's a very long process and that would have to, I would have to add more. Look at her. She also has the milk spots and hers look like white freckles, like angel kisses because they're white. <laughs> Um, I was copying it from a photograph from my uh, niece. She had a bunch of them, and it looked like angel kisses. I mean, it was like little freckles on her face. It was adorable. So she's got a little bit on the chin, a little bit there, and I did a little bit more. I know somebody one time asked me, why is her face all white like that? It's just the little mouth spots, but I did it to match a photograph. But I love her paint job. I like that her skin tone's a little bit darker because she's supposed to represent a little Italian, and I love her paint job, how it turned out. She's just gorgeous. Her tips, everything's perfect. All my babies don't lose paint. They have not yet. Um, she's got beautiful painting and veining on it, that other baby. Um, I did a full video on it, so you can even watch that video. Watch it, and you, I get up close and show you all the details on that baby. And I've had a lot of people tell me they really like what you know I did with that, that last baby, the one I'm selling, the version of this one. So we'll put her little bracelets back on. And we, I was going to say that one matches, this nook matches too, but we'll give her the other one. She seems to be pretty happy, but I still want to give her, I'm going to just kind of wet her mouth. I don't have the KY here, but this is my baby. And this is a forever baby, so she's never going anywhere, so it's okay that I do this to her. I did open her mouth, and I opened it on the other one. Aw, look at that. So cute. She likes her nooks. Yes, yeah, she does. Isn't that adorable, you guys? So cute. I love onesie babies. I love them so much. She's so beautiful. I am going to get photographs of her for the end like I always do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying all my videos. And like I said, definitely check out my babies. Definitely purchase one of my babies and see what I'm talking about that you'll never, as far as I know, so far, none of the ones I've done even from a year ago have I had to powder. They're very silky soft and really, really beautiful babies. No peeling or nothing. So definitely just try it out. You know, try one of my babies out as eventually I'm going to be upping the price. I'm selling them dirt cheap right now on pennies on the dollar right now after all the work I do on them, you know, and the expensive paints and seals that I use and all that. So, yeah, I'm eventually going to up the price once I get known. But, yeah, jump on it right now where you can get babies as cheap as I'm selling them. So, we're going to let her go ahead and blow you a kiss. We want to pull this out because we want her to give you a real kiss. Mwah. Yeah, say bye, everyone. Say, yeah, say I love you guys. Yeah, say I love you. Uh, God, always God first, and then we love mommy, daddy, all the aunties yeah. and uncles out there, and grandmas and grandpas. Everybody take care, God bless, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.